Hello there, Sarah here from Black Sheep Wools. Now today I'm going to talk to you about my Shapiers Terrazzo blanket, which is here. It's utterly, utterly gorgeous. I am slightly in love with it. Um, I really, really am. It's a super, super simple pattern that I'm making up as I go along, to be honest. We thought we'd do a video because I keep being asked how you make it and will I be doing a pattern. There will be a written pattern for it at some point, but I can't guarantee when I'm going to finish it. So I thought it was possibly best so that those of you that have got, because it's made from this pack, from the Terrazzo pack, um, which I mean, who wouldn't want a Terrazzo pack in their life? It's got 60 10 gram balls of Terrazzo yarn in it. It's made from 70% recycled musing free wool and 30% recycled viscose. And when it came in, had to have one and I had to do something with it and I thought it would make the most beautiful blanket and it does but like I say this is my easy knit blanket that I'm just doing a ball on every now and then and I know some of you are keen to get the pattern so we thought this would be an easy way because I'm not sure how I'm going to finish it what I can't tell you on this video is exactly how big it's going to be um, and we're not going to be able to show you the top half of the colours. What I will say with the top half, we do get to some of the darker colours in the top half, so it might not be this bright all the way through. So, really, really, really simple. I am using 4mm circular needle. I think I'm on an 80cm, I guess. Yeah, doesn't really matter. I'm only going side to side. Um, so, I have cast on 210 stitches and the first two, and then I've just used two balls to do garter stitch on 210 stitches. So I've used almost the full two balls and then I have done, to match the width of the bottom, I've done 13 stitches garter stitch on each end of the row. So regardless, I always knit the first 13 stitches. Um, and then the middle panel is done in stocking stitch. And that's it, it's 210 stitches. Knit 13 at the beginning of every row and knit 13 at the end of every row and do stocking stitch in the middle. What I am doing, I'm always really aware when we're using these tiny balls of yarn that you don't want loads of wastage because it's pointless. So what I decided to do, and it's also just gave it a little bit of fun, is to continue to knit. And then when I join a new, a new ball in, I do a garter stitch regardless. So if I am on a knit row, I purl the start of the new ball. If I'm on a purl row, I knit the start of the new ball. More detail. Don't think this is complicated because it is super, super easy. So can you see here where I've joined a new yarn? Um, so I have knitted all those stitches, brought in the new dark green, and as I was on a purl row, yeah, that would be right. I've then knitted them to bring them so you can see the ridge at the front. And that's what I've done on every single colour. Every time I've got to a new ball, I've made sure that it creates a ridge on the front. So either knit or purl. And that's it.